Welcome to Healthy Point of View Podcast, where we explore the latest trends and topics in health and wellness. Whether you're looking for tips on nutrition, fitness, mental health, or anything in between, we've got you covered. Join us as we chat with experts, share stories, and learn how to live a healthier and happier life. Welcome to a Healthy Point of View Podcast. I'm your host, Sam Tejada. Today we have triple board certified medical expert, Dr. Christopher Davis, who's our chief medical officer. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about the importance of preservative-free nutrients and IV vitamin therapy. Dr. Davis, how are you? Good, good, good. Always good to be here. Awesome, man. Awesome. So today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the world of IV nutrients therapy. And you know, there's, there's a lot of people trying to get into this industry, mm-hmm. and you got a lot of people that are not medical professionals that are just like business people trying to make a buck, and they really don't understand like the science, like the chemistry science of what they're putting into people's veins. Mm-hmm. So one of the things people tend to ask us with our Liquid Vita kits is like, what makes your product so good? Why is it, why do you guys label yourself as the the best product out in the market mm-hmm. and, and one of the things that we pride ourselves about is that our products are not these multi-dose vials that people are consistently stabbing through that stopper right mm-hmm. that have preservatives so bacteria doesn't grow in inside of those vials mm-hmm. ours are actually single dose vials it's one time use one vial per patient and they're preservative free mm-hmm. so when i talk about preservative free i you know my mind first thing it goes is like Man, I've, I've grown up where people talk about, like, stay away from preservatives. Mm-hmm. So if we could kind of get into those details about what kind of preservatives are in some of these multi-dose vials. And, yeah, you know what? Sometimes things in smaller dosages don't affect you. But in larger dosages, especially, like, when you're giving ascorbic acid 25 milliliters or 15 milliliters of it, mm-hmm. whatever it is, it could have an effect on your body. So as you as the medical expert kind of want to dig deep uh, into that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that obviously anytime we start talking about preservatives, um, uh, I think the connotation is somewhat negative uh, and, and, and a lot of times rightly so. When we talk about intravenous uh, nutrient preservatives, the primary preservative we're talking about, for the most part, I mean, across the spectrum, it, it, it's benzoyl alcohol that, that we use as a preservative. There are a few um, companies that may be still using some parabens, but benzoyl alcohol is the main one. Um, and, and I think the issue is here, not even, the, we're getting small doses of these most of the time. Um, however, I mean, when you think about if you're getting small doses of, of anything that's not good for your body or causing any type of toxic reaction or my other favorite word is oxidative stress, because at the end of the day, what these preservatives do is they cause an increased level of oxidative stress. The things we have to remember with toxins is that they are cumulative, right? And so even if I'm getting a small dose one time, right, and then I get another small dose another time, it's cumulative with all of the other toxins that we're exposed to as well. So why subject yourself the way I look at it now? Why, why should we subject our clients to even if it's small amounts of preservatives uh, and when they're getting an IV of whatever it is, their, their, their B vitamin, um, and to subject them to preservatives uh, in that, that we know are, have a toxic reaction and that is cumulative over time, and in some more than others, depending on their detox pathways, how well do they get rid of these toxins, then, then it could potentially be a problem. Maybe not today, right? It's not like this, we're talking about having an immediate reaction, which some people can have allergic reactions to talk, I mean, right. to these preservatives, right? Some of these things can be an immediate reaction because it's, I mean, from a, an allergic reaction to the actual uh, preservative. However, I think the bigger issue that may not be apparent, you know, at the immediate time is what happens over a year or two or three if I'm getting multiple IVs on top of all the other toxins we're exposed to. So benzoyl alcohol and the parabens and parabens are in lots of other things, all of the products we use for our skin and face and lotions and all that type of stuff. So at the end of the day. Where we want, what we want to do is we want to be living, limiting our exposure to toxins in general. So us as a company, you know, we've chosen to use these single dose vials to limit those exposures with the preservatives uh, altogether. Right, right. And, 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 you know, when we're talking about optimizing one's health, right, and making sure that you're optimizing your health so you can perform at your peak levels, mm-hmm. 
if you're bringing any kind of external toxins into your body, would you say that that's going to go ahead and hinder your ability to, to actually perform at those peak levels? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this is, you know, really, when we talk about vitality and longevity, uh, and we've been talking about this recently, you know, what we should be focused on is inflammation and oxidative stress affect our mitochondria so those those cells those powerhouses of ourselves they don't function normally right we start to lose mitochondria the mitochondria don't function as efficiently and so we don't produce as much of energy or atp okay and more right. importantly mitochondria are also very uh, much uh, responsible for producing some of these things called reactive oxygen species. Those are the uh, the things that cause more oxidative stress. So mitochondria are good and bad, right? Meaning that they produce energy, but they, as a result of producing energy, they produce all these reactive oxygen species. And so the more toxins that we're exposed to, the more inefficient the mitochondria perform. The perform. So that's when we talk about us performing as as an individual, my top, and 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 being in the best shape I can be in. When I start to clog up my mitochondrial pathways, I'm not going to be optimized at all. And so right. that's how those toxins affect us by increasing inflammation and oxidative stress, getting rusty inside. We've talked about that yeah, before, right? Rusty. The oxidative stress is getting rusty inside. What's contributing to that oxidative stress or that rustiness? All of the toxins in our environment are a major contributor to the rustiness. Yep. Don't be that rusty pipe. That's right. Yeah, and then we got to keep those toxins out. So I'll tell you, so what one... I first got into the IV therapy business. This is almost 10 years ago. I remember um, sitting in, in, a, in a class with Dr. Mitch Gen, mm -hmm. And Dr. Gen put a lot of emphasis on, hey, make sure you try to use preservative-free product, especially anything that you're using an aggressive dosage of it, like the high-dose vitamin C. And I had a, a, a doctor at the clinic who sometimes didn't listen too well back then. And... Um, you know, it, it was back then also, it was not as easy to get a lot of these IV nutrients, you know, mm -hmm. because it was just kind of kicking off. And we had a patient who came in and he got a, a little bit of a higher dose of vitamin C. And he was that one patient that ended up having the reaction to the preservatives. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a pretty show. Mm -hmm. It looked like he had uterocaria all over his body. Mm -hmm. It lasted a few days, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And I, um, he sent, sent me over some pictures and I sent that over to Dr. Ginn. He says, you ain't listened, did you? I <laughs> said, what, what do you mean? He says, "That's a re he had a reaction to the preservatives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since then, that's actually what was one of the motivating factors for me, where I said, you know what? If we're going to build this industry and we want to protect the industry, we got to make sure that we have a good quality product and not allow this to happen again. Because it happened to me once, and once is more than enough. And fortunately, you know, the guy was, he was good. You know, he eventually, mm -hmm. um, you know, everything recited and whatnot. But that that was one of the motivating factors of creating the IV, uh, the Liquivita IV drip packets and kits where everything's a single dose vial and it's preservative free. Right, you absolutely. Know? I mean, I think, I mean, again, and those scenarios of the immediate setting, I mean, those are the ones that were like, oh my gosh, uh, but again, I, I, the thing that's just as important, I think, is think about just long term, mm -hmm. the number of toxins. Think about the number of people you are potentially, not potentially, that you are contributing to some detriment with getting these toxins at all. So I think that as a company, I mean, we can feel comfortable knowing that we are not contributing to those, the, the toxic burden that most of us are, you know, most of us are getting enough of those toxic, the, it, it, toxic burden, toxic issues from other places. So let's not be contributing to that. Right. And you said it very well earlier, where it's like it might you might not feel something immediately, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's even how disease is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all of a sudden, you know, you go to the doctor and they say, "Hey, you're sick with this." And a matter of fact, it's a uh, stage three or stage four of mm -hmm. whatever this yep. uh, disease is, and that's because it's been in your body for a very extensive period of time. Right. So when we're talking about the toxins. You know, you might not even know that they're just sitting in there. Right, right. And I think that the, the, the other thing that's really sad, I, I mean, I should say, let's just think about the number of people who have what we call chronic kidney disease, right? That's a, that's a huge amount of people in the United States, in the world, right? And we have these stage one, stage two, stage three chronic kidney disease. And a lot of times we say, okay, it's from hypertension, high blood pressure, or it can be from your, your diabetes. People who have diabetes could be diabetes-related. 
But I will say to you this, I think a lot of chronic kidney disease is related to toxin and toxin buildup that affects the kidney tubules. And unfortunately, we don't live in a medical world where we start, we evaluate whether people are toxic from mercury, lead, plastics, glyphosate. Uh, and those 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 uh, agents are causing things like liver issues and fatty liver. Those agents are causing things like the chronic kidney disease. And as we start to look for those things, which we've done over the last year, and particularly in my practice, I've started to do that. And that's when the light bulb went off for me that most chronic disease relates to the toxic exposures, increased oxidative stress, and decreased mitochondrial function. Wow, wow. Would it be safe to say, you're talking about kidneys and liver, your kidneys and liver are like the filters for your body, mm -hmm. right? So if all you're doing is the, the your kidneys and liver are consistently just trying to remove these toxins, these environmental and these external toxins that you keep on putting into your body, what ends up happening to those filters? Right. They, right? Get, they get clogged up or they don't work very mm -hmm. efficiently. Yeah. They and it ain't no work. different than your AC filter trying nope. to, you know, you got to change it. Yep. You, you're not going to just change your kidney. No. Right? No. And, no I no. mean, you can get on the transplant list, but let's try to avoid that. Right. So you don't want to be on dialysis either. That's not a fun show. I mean, I've seen it. My, my sister had kidney disease at a very young age. So th these are the things that people have to kind of. Uh, keep in mind and, and think about the analogies that we're giving here. Same thing as your car filter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you change your oil, you got to change that filter too because all of those different toxins right. and everything else. So, yeah. And always and, think about, you know, where those toxins come from, right? The exposure is always important. Um, I think the other thing to think about and I want everybody to be aware of is a lot of these toxins, when we're exposed to them, these toxins are stored away in places, and they're not always necessarily evident. Even if people, if the doctors were to look for them sometimes, i.e. checking the blood levels, right? A lot of toxins are hidden away in our bone, in our fat cells, in our organs, right? And unless we do some type of provocative mechanism, whether it's something to pull out the toxins, where there's things like charcoal or other agents that bind, glutathione, we use another, but glutathione is a great binder and it can actually mobilize a lot of these toxins. The best way to mobilize toxins, and this is a treatment modality, but it's also a great way to make sure you don't miss when we're testing for toxins, <laughs> is a sauna. OK, mm. an infrared sauna. And I would say anybody listening to me, everybody, if you can afford a sauna or a sauna blanket, everybody in the world should have a sauna blanket because we can't hide from all the toxins. I know this 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 podcast is about the, um, the, the basically about our preservatives. And that's how we got on this toxin subject. But at the end of the day, we can't avoid all of the toxins that are in our world and we can be smart about it. Right. I'm not going to go out and drink well water that's infiltrated at the bottom of a phosphate plant here in Florida. I said that because that's his true story. These are the things that I see. But avoiding the toxins uh, and then making sure that our detox pathways are open to be able to get rid of these toxins is actually what's really important. And so understanding what that de detox process means, meaning as I mobilize these toxins from my fat cells, making sure that when it's turned into a format that goes to the liver, that my liver has all the nutrients, the B vitamins, everything that it needs to do its job, and then producing bile to go to the gut to get it out and making sure the gut's in shape to get out these toxins. So right. that understanding what we can do as, as, as an individual, what all of us, we should be trying to optimize that detox pathways as much as we can to be as vital and live as uh, from a longevity perspective. Those are the things I see as true vitality and longevity is dependent on how well our bodies are able to deal with all the toxins we're exposed to. I agree with that. I agree with that. Dr. Davis, this is why it is so important for people to understand what you're putting into your body. Yeah. When you're going in and getting an IV trip, understand what is going in that IV trip. If you're going to any of these clinics that are out there, right, figure out what they're putting into your IV, mm -hmm. right? If you're getting a bunch of toxins, you could potentially be doing worse than good. Mm -hmm. So this is why we put so much effort, so much science behind what we've developed, you know, with our, our manufacturing pharmacy or pharmacist team or MDs. I'm making sure we have that quality product, preservative-free. If if 
people don't understand the benefits of preservative free after this podcast, and they're still taking these IVs with all the preservatives. They got there's a bigger problem, you know. Maybe yeah, the preservatives yeah. went to the brain already. <laughs> <laughs> we got to really do the the whole uh, detox on, on the people that are doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. all right, cool. So, anything else we want to talk about uh, about preservative free and and the benefits or anything like that? I think we hit almost every single point there. Where you know, I think yeah. most people are going to know what, what the deal is. I think so, too. Yeah, I think cool. Good. Awesome. Dr. Davis, always a pleasure. Where can people find you? Hey, Reveal Vitality was one of my practice. My practice in Sarasota. We have a Liquid Vita um, location there. Um, and then here we can find me on the Liquid Vita site as well. Awesome. It's awesome. So stay tuned. Keep on checking us out. Like, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff. Follow us. Appreciate you, and thank you for tuning in to a Healthy Point of View podcast. See you for the next one.